On today's episode, a man attempts to surrender to police. They're just shooting him. They are just shooting him. <laughs> he can't even get up now. That's what happens when you don't comply right away. They just kill you. This shit is bananas. B A N S N S N S. All right, there we go. We'll call him like that. Oh my! Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Run! 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 And I wasn't expecting that. Oh Jesus! What? Watch where you're going. Officers, to use caution. Hello, everybody. My name is Anton. Welcome to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5 LSPDFR. Right off the bat, I do apologize for my voice. I did catch a bit of a cold while traveling last week, and unfortunately, I'm still dealing with it. But I really wanted to do a video here for you guys. So tonight, we are out here in the town of Grapeseed, and we are driving this little beauty right here. This is a 2013 Chevy Tahoe by J.J. Dawkins, also known as Mr. Kindness from his Los Santos County Sheriff pack. But the textures that we are using today are by Officer Fabe from the Blaine County Sheriff pack. And check this out. I'm going to swing around here to the side of the vehicle and take a look at that. It looks absolutely beautiful there. Blaine County Sheriff. They got the American flag there waving on the side of the car. It looks absolutely fantastic. Really, really nice texture pack there. I just actually used this texture on a charger in a live stream. So if you haven't seen that, please check that out. But today we're going to check out the Tahoe, which is the other vehicle that's part of this pack. And we're going to roll out on a patrol here in a grape seed. Before we get started, as always, I'm going to walk you through the car, give you a quick look here at all of our lights. So let me go ahead and drop it into the first stage VLS and take a look at that. It really comes to life. I love, 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 love the all blues here on this vehicle. Take a look at that. We got so many lights. I mean, I don't even know where to begin. We got lights down there in our fog lights and our, uh, our, our uh, grill there, uh, mirrors, light bar. I mean, there's lights absolutely everywhere. Headlights. I mean, where do you begin there? Got more lights here. The side, the side runners looks really, really nice. Got some more lights there in the window and then swinging around to the back. There's more lights. But wait, there is more lights here on this car. Let me go ahead and drop it into the second stage of ELS. So essentially, it will change up some of our patterns here. We got the traffic lights that are now going off. The strobes have been accelerated. We got the side runners still going off and we do have most of the lights here in the front with the exclusion of a couple lights there behind our grill as well as our mirrors and of course the first stage of ALS will put everything else off and just leave these two little traffic lights here as well so that is what the car looks like as always i'm going to jump inside as well give you a look i think we've seen this vehicle before but nevertheless we got our hands on the wheel there fairly good view there from our windshield very nice look at that i got the, the divider to the passenger compartment there in the back got a computer down there you can kind of see it our very bright radar of course, and then swing it around here. No clipping issues, nothing like that. Beautiful, beautiful interior. So great, great vehicle if you do play first person. But with that said, let's roll out and let's see what happens here on today's patrol. Dispatch 3 Adam 10. I'm going to be at 1041 and I'll be at 108. been a while since we've done a grape seed patrol so i'm really excited about this there's always Any usually the a whole bunch of area, weird stuff that happens here in grape seed i'll uh, roger that dispatch uh, three adam 10 i'm gonna roll out three code two all, all right let me swing around here we have a potential meth lab that's just set up right around the corner basically let's go check that out the sun is just starting to set here on grape seed so this is when all the weirdos come out and of course a lot a lot of drug activity happens here in grape seed so not surprised we have a potential meth lab. Looks like it's going to be that vehicle right there. We can go ahead and turn off the lights here so we do not scare them. And uh, let's see here. What the heck happened here? Looks like we got some sort of a MVA here as well. Wow. Uh, okay. Looks like we got a couple of vehicles involved in an MVA here. A couple of people here on the street. Uh, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. We have a potential MVA here on Seaview Road. Can you go ahead and uh, dispatch... Uh, can we not get any ambulances here? No. Oh, okay. Strange. What do we have there? Okay, we got a tow truck on this scene. Okay, well, I'll let them figure that out. Looks like this is the potential meth lab. Oh, and they're fleeing. They're fleeing. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. I got three individuals running here on Seaview Road southbound right now. Can I get a couple of extra units here to assist with the uh, foot chase? All right, let's go ahead and uh, try to get some of these guys. 
to try to cut her off here like that. Hey, Sheriff Department, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, Sheriff. He's going to get tased. He's going to get tased like that right in the arm there. We've got a couple of extra units coming out here to assist us. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Okay, he's giving up. He's giving up. We still have two more runners there. Oh, he just got shot. What? He's giving up there. Relax, everybody. Whoa. Relax, officer. Relax. He's giving up. He's giving up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Get on the ground. You're going to get killed, man. You are going to get killed by them. I have no control over them. You're going to get killed. I told you. Get on the ground. Yep, he's going to get killed. You are... Yep. They're just shooting him. They are just shooting him. <laughs> he can't even get up now. That's what happens when you don't comply right away. They just kill you. They just kill you. Look at that. He's trying to get up and they're just shooting him. Oh my god. I'm going to put him out of his misery, I, I guess. Is he giving up now? Give up. Give yourself up. You heard the lady. She's going to shoot you to death. There we go. Finally. Man, those officers, they just don't wait for anybody. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. I have one in custody here on Seaview Road. We still have two runners, I believe, or at least one runner. Daphne Farrell is his name. Am I not able to grab him for some reason? What's going on here? I can't seem to really do anything. Okay. All right, sir. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead and just get him to sit down, I guess, on the road. And uh, do a quick search here, and we're going to try to catch up to our brother runner. Do you got anything illegal there on you, sir? Any sort of weapons, drugs, anything like that? Nope, nothing of interest. Stop Dispatch right there, 3, Adam 10. Can I get a 1027 ah. on a... Nope, nothing. He's completely bugged out. All right, he's completely bugged out. I couldn't even grab him, so something is going on here with the game. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. I need a 1091 here to my location on CV Road for a uh, suspect in custody. All right, let me go ahead and go after the other guy. We still have another runner. I'm guessing that second person got arrested. She was running right here as well. I think she took off down this dirt road. I'm going to guess she got arrested. I see officers over there. It looks like she's being picked up right now. But let's go ahead and uh, catch up to our other runner. Still have this NBA here. Not sure how that happened. It looks like they're right here. We do have an officer there that is attempting to pursue them, but they're not successful at this time. Are they down here somewhere? I think they might be down there. Yep, there she is. Oh, that's her. That's her right there. I uh, dispatch three, Adam 10. I got another one running here right off Grapeseed Avenue here. Ma'am, stop. Police. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Hey, get your ass on the ground. Oh, I missed. How did I miss that with a taser? Let's see if I can just tackle her. There we go. Hey, put your hands up. Put your hands up. Do not run. Do not run. Put your hands up. You're going to get shot. Just get on the ground. These officers here do not take any shit from anybody. All right, there we go. Moving in there for the arrest. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10. I'm going to have another one in custody. Looks like we're going to be uh, all code 4 here on the uh, foot pursuits. All right, come back here to my car, Kate. Let's put her back in the vehicle here. And uh, we'll search her and get her picked up by some of these other officers. All right, go ahead, sit down on the ground here for me. Kate, you got anything illegal there on you? Have any drugs there on you that uh, you probably have in that meth lab? Let me search her quickly here. Any weapons that I'm going to find? And uh, we got ourselves some Canadian money and an anonymous mask. All right, well, I'll take the money for sure. Dispatch a 3, Adam 10, requesting a 1027 on a Kate Clegg. That's two Gs. Name looks familiar. I think we've dealt with her before. Uh, okay, she's coming back all clean. Dispatch a 3, Adam 10. I'm going to need a 1091 here to my location on Grapeseed Avenue at Seaview for, uh, for the uh, suspect under arrest. Under Let's go ahead and roll back to the RV back there, our suspected meth lab. And uh, we still have to check that out. We still don't know if it was a meth lab or not. Or the, although, with the way they were taken off there on us, I suspect that it is. Because otherwise, why would you run? Why oh why? All right, let me go check this thing out right here. And we still have this accident right here as well that needs to be cleaned up. All right, there's the suspected meth lab. Let's go check that out. And see what we have in here. Let me do a quick play check as well. Dispatch a 3, Adam 10. Can I get a uh, 1028? Marker is going to be uh, 09, uh, Julia Lincoln Charles 322. John Lincoln Charles, rather. 
John, Molly Lincoln, Kieran Carol, three, two, is two, the registered no owner. No flags there on the vehicle. Let's go ahead and search what we see what we have in the RV. I do believe it's a meth lab. We're going to find out here in a second. And we have ourselves, oh, there we go, a pack of Redwood cigarettes, a GM Anton Z gaming t-shirt. Man, that's not going to help them. Chemistry equipment, prohibited precursor chemicals, and several pounds of meth. There it is. It is a meth lab indeed. Dispatch a three, Adam 10. Confirm that we have a meth lab here on Seaview Road. Can I get a 1051 here to my location to uh, take that and stand by for an additional 1051s? We got a couple of vehicles here involved in an MVA. Let me go ahead and just back up here to this MVA and uh, see what we potentially have here. I'm just gonna park my vehicle right there. So it looks like the vehicles have been abandoned. I do not see anybody here. In the, uh, there goes the meth lab in the vehicles. Dispatch 3, Adam 10, requesting a 1028. Marker is going to be 43, X ray Charles uh, Ho Henry 555. Suspect Man, this thing just flipped over. Four, three, X -ray oh, Charles Jesus. Henry, five, 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 watch where are you going? Man, watch where are you going? That came out of nowhere. All right, a traffic violation on the vehicle. There's nobody in here, so let's go ahead and get this thing towed. Dispatch 3, Adam 10, requesting a 1051 here to my location on Seaview Rive for a minivan. And uh, we got this car. I'm going to go ahead and search this one. Nunchucks and a pack of Redwood cigarettes. Man, everybody in Grapeseed loves their Redwoods. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10. Going to need another 1051 here as well to my location for Regina. Just do a quick play check here as well before this thing goes. And uh, can I get a 1028 marker? Is going to be 44 Ida uh, Queen Lincoln 855. Target license plate. There goes the minivan. Four, four, Ida, Queen, no registration Lincoln, on the vehicle eight, five, there. Okay. Five, uh, windows all smashed out and stuff. I don't think that van is involved in anything. That's just sitting there by the stand. But these two vehicles had some sort of an MBA. All right. Well, we're all going to be done here. Dispatch a three. Adam 10. You can show me clear off the calls here. And I'm going to be 10-8 uh, in Grapeseed. Dispatch 3, Adam 10, requesting a 1028. Marker is going to be 01, uh, Nora William Boy 654. Plate, zero, one, Nora, oh, there we go. Five, four, just being a little proactive here, plate. driving oh, around. Not a lot of calls fire. have been coming in. And I've just been running some plates here. And looks like we got a hit here for a felony warrant for registered owner. So I'm going to go ahead and light him up. And we're going to perform a felony stop here on this vehicle. So let me just see which way he goes on this intersection. And then we'll immediately light him up. Looks like he's gonna be turning left. So let's go ahead and initiate our traffic stop here. And uh, he's stopping there for us. Sir, pull on over to the side there, right on the uh, grass. All right, that will be good enough right there. Uh, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. Can you roll me an additional unit out here, code 3, on uh, Seaview Road to assist on a felony stop? All right, let's get an additional unit out here to help us out with a felony stop. Looks like they're coming from there. Okay, not sure why they're doing it. I guess hanging out by the water, enjoying the view. All right, wh where are they going, man? The AI in this game just gets me. They're going somewhere over there, and they're hopefully going to turn around. Yep, there they come. All right, let's hop out of the vehicle here, and we're going to get this guy out of the car. Looks like it is occupied times one, so we just have to worry about the driver. Here comes our backup unit. Okay, driver of the Jeep, get out of the vehicle with your hands up and get on the ground. Police, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Oh, is he running? Is he running? Nope, he's not. He's giving up. Officer there getting into our line of fire. All right, he is giving up right now. Moving in for the arrest there. Stay on the ground. Do not move. Do not move. Do not move. Dispatch a three, Adam 10. I'm going to have one in custody here on uh, Seaview Road. George uh, Hamis. Jamis? Hamis? George, go ahead and sit down right here for me. All right, let's find out if he does have a warrant there. Uh, dispatch a three, Adam 10. Requesting a 1027 on a uh, George Hamis. I guess is how you pronounce it. Yep, and there it is. Dispatch confirming for us that he's got a warrant out for his arrest. All right, George. So the reason why I'm stopping you tonight is because you do have a warrant out there for your arrest. So you are being arrested right now there on that outstanding warrant. You got anything illegal there on you? Any sort of weapons or drugs or anything like that? A bottle of morphine, which is very suspicious. Okay, sit on tight here. We'll get somebody to come out here and pick you up. Let me go ahead and search the vehicle here. See what we got inside the car. 
And uh, we got a tourist map, a neon green banana hammock, a banana as well. You gotta put a banana somewhere, right? Goes right into the hammock. A bottle of Headlight Shampoo, another GM Antanzi gaming t-shirt, I love it. A map of San Andreas and nothing else of interest there in the car. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. I'm gonna need a 1051 here for the uh, vehicle, as well as a uh, 1091 here for my suspect in custody on CFU Road. Backup needed for All right, here comes the tow truck. And uh, we should have another unit out here momentarily. There they come to uh, pick up our suspect. Another beautiful Tahoe there coming in. Hello, how you doing? Got one in custody for you. Got him on an outstanding warrant. Just ran his plate and boom, it came up. Turd. Yep, he is a turd. Thanks. Dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. You can show me clear off the uh, 1038 here and I'll be 10-8. Uh, Units, oh my god. An AC on Got an aircraft crash here on uh, Grapeseed here on Main Street. Uh, roger that dispatch 3, Adam 10 responding code 3. Let's go ahead here. We're going to cut through the roads, the dirt roads right here. I hear heavy explosions. There are huge explosions out this way. Some sort of an aircraft just crashed right in Grapeseed. So let's get out here. I see smoke. I see smoke. Oh my god, the fire truck just blew up as well here, responding to the scene. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. You can show me 1023. We got multiple vehicles on fire here, requesting uh, requesting additional units here to assist, as well as... Uh, can we get some, uh, can we get some fire? What is up with these units there, spawning right on top of each other? Uh, can we get uh, 1052 here to my location as well? What is up with that? How come there's no ambulance? All right, there we go. We'll call him like that. Oh, my. Oh, get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out of the car, get out of the car. Run, 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 run. Oh, what happened there? That was insanity. Jesus. Oh, my God. That is just crazy. We got multiple explosions going off right now. It's a chain event here. A chain event. Multiple people running around. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10, my vehicle has exploded. We need, uh, we need additional units out here. An on Apparently I found some sort of identification. This is just insane. Oh my god, explosions still going off. I don't know if I can help them out here with my fire extinguisher. Looks like that vehicle is gonna blow as well. Or did or No, that already blew. Alright, we got firefighters out here now. We need an ambulance out here immediately. We got multiple people down. Are these guys not doing anything? How come I can't get? There we go. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. I need a 1052 here to my location. Attention all units. Medical aid requested. All right, we should have some paramedics here to take care of some of these people that are down. Most of them are either first responders or police officers. That was just insane. I love it when the game spawns things on top of each other. They set off a chain event here that just caused all sorts of explosions. We have multiple firefighters on scene here. A fire truck that's been turned upside down as well. Oh, this is just craziness. All right, we have uh, paramedics now on scene arriving just on the other side there. Hopefully they're gonna be able to get through and assist some of these individuals. They seem to be stuck there behind that hel helicopter that crashed. So that's the aircraft that came down right here and we have multiple people out here injured i mean these guys are just look at that <laughs> ha what do you say to this i mean this is just insanity we do have some paramedics and some firefighters here trying to help the officers out but man yep another doa indeed Man, this is just a crazy scene. Well, it's gonna take a while to clean this mess up, that's for sure. That's gonna take a while to clean it up. Still trying to get through. I think the uh, first responders there now filling out some reports. Ambulance is still not able to make it. I don't even know what sirens are going off at this point. Man, this is such a mess. 
have multiple vehicles here. Let me start getting some tow trucks for these cars. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. I'm going to need multiple 1051s here to my location for the vehicles that uh, exploded. Let's try to clean up some of these cars. Although I feel like the tow trucks are going to get caught in this mess as well. Yep, for sure. They sure are. This is our car that uh, got toasted there. Got caught in that chain explosion. So many tow, tow trucks unable to get through. Looks like the helicopter just disappeared. Or has been cleaned up. Angel is now finally able to get through here, but... Man, this is just insanity. This is just crazy. I mean, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. Looks like some of these cars are being cleared out, but... The first responders seem to appear to be stuck. Everybody appears to be stuck. I don't know what's... Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, at least they flipped that tow truck over. Oh, what happened there? This is just... This is just the game at its finest. Well, guys, I'm gonna clean up this mess right here, and this is gonna do it for this crazy, crazy grapeseed episode here. Did not expect it to end like this, but thank you very much for watching. I will always catch you on another episode of GTA 5 LSPDFR. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. Uh, are you gonna have to send somebody out here to clean this mess up? Because I'm gonna be uh, 1042 here in about a second.